Hi, Governor Marco Revuelta, Buenos Dias, Telemundo 15 in the Coachella Valley. I've spoken to many families, Hispanic immigrants, while they're very excited about what's to come with the lithium industry, they're also concerned about their health. What is your message to them? Well, you know what, why don't you talk about this project as a proof point that could perhaps demonstrate, uh, not by word but by deed, what this industry actually is and what it's done. Yeah, let me uh, have the opportunity to clear this one up once and for all. What you see in the background here is a closed loop system. The lithium itself has no contact to the atmosphere whatsoever. The impact of geothermal, we may use you know, 30 acres of land coverage compared to, say, uh, 8,000 acres in a similar project, say, in the Salars by evaporation ponds. So there's no environmental worsening, only the betterment of. And I think I've referred to the image at the back there. If we can create a clean energy park out of this wasteland here, and cover it and put landscaping and dry land style uh, mitigation with the dust. And but, yeah, just for a point of interest, we'll have you know, up to 10 to 12,000 people here who do not want to live in this dust either. And you know, my running days are over because of it. So I think you know, looking outside the uh, outside the box a little bit, and particularly our relations with the Torres Martinez, you know, dry land mitigation. I spoke to Wade and the governor about that, where we cover uh, fire in real real impact, um, maybe develop solar and sort of you know, incorporate into this 4,000 acres of land we have. So that's our little piece. I know it's not 50,000 acres, but certainly just wanted to clear the facts about how lithium is produced compared to other styles of production. What's novel about their approach is they're lithium first. It's not the byproduct of the geothermal. And that's what's, I think, novel and innovative. And that's the opportunity here, a new this is it, this is the holy grail, uh, and the opportunity for the community, particularly, uh, to be inclusive in terms of that equity contribution that I speak of is literally written into the rules and the governing framework that the state of California has advanced, including in terms of the excise tax going right back into the community.